Hey guys, how you doing? Damon Kasky here, doing just a little bit of coding work. I would like to stream this live, but that's not going to happen because I want it to be pixel perfect so you can actually see what's going on. But it is unscripted, so as I go along here, if I trip over my words or whatnot or get to rambling, you'll just have to forgive me, all right? So let's just jump right in. I am currently working on my HP meter. Hold on just a moment. Throat got a little clogged there, and it still is. The weather changes drive me crazy. Anyway, so as you can see, right now the MP meter, well, there's not a whole lot to it. It's just a, well, it's just an H. And at that, it's just an H frame. There, there's nothing filling there. There's nothing showing you the MP at all. So I have just added the text that is going to configure that to use an animation with a clipping effect based on the sub percentage within that H. And once I uh, save it, and this is one of the features I'm proud of within my, uh, within my HUD, is that I can live load it during gameplay. So hold down the escape and press A3. You can see animation list loaded, meter list reloaded, and there is our H, and it is full, and it also has an animated marquee effect. So now let's see if the clipping is applied properly when I start depleting the MP. Oops. Ah, look at that. So let's take it all the way down. And the characters are set to stabilize their MP at half filled, so it's going to gradually climb back up to 50 on its own. And as you can see, as it does, the marquee, while it's animating, is gradually filling the H. So let's speed that up just a little bit. That is what I want to see. At half, it is filled up half. So let's go ahead and fill it up all the way. And now I want to add the next unit, which would be, or add another unit, which would be the E in the hero. Oops. My mouse is being a little wonky here. So this is going to be unit one. And unit one only has one dial with a frame and a fill. Let's see, position fill, you know, offset one to one. Now I already know, I've already done the calculation. I know that I'll need an offset for unit one of, well, I said I knew, did the calculation. I'm going to offset it 14 pixels to the right and see what that looks like. And let's just go ahead and save it. And then reload it in the engine. Okay, that's a little too far. Let's try 13 pixels. You want, we'll we'll leave it at thir we'll leave it at 13 pixels. Now let's replace it with the E. There we go. Save that. Then reload it over here. And let's uh, let's get uh, Fuma to come back down. My mouse is really, really, really in need of replacement. It's doing all kinds of weird things. Every time I click on the engine, it's actually sending the engine input, and it's doing the same thing for Visual Studio. That's why you're seeing some weird stuff go on as I move my pointer. All right, we have the H and the E, 
Now, when MP is at 50%, the H should be completely filled. The E should be completely empty. So let's go down and mess with our MP a little bit. Ah, excellent. You can see the E is starting to empty. And when I get down to 50%, it is gone. Then as I continue to deplete the MP, the H drops away. So let's fill it back up. And this is going to be roughly a copy-paste operation because the the tinting and the coloring and the clip effects are pretty much the same for all these letters. It's, it's not like the life meter where I have it uh, changing colors as it depletes on an individual basis. The, the HE and RO aren't going to change. They're just going to stay the same. So since this was 13, then this would be 26. And HER, R, and all this stuff will stay roughly the same. So we can save it. Let's go over here and reload. And there is the R. So again, if the math holds, and there's no reason why it shouldn't because it would have broken already, as I deplete MP this time, the E should be about half filled, actually should be exactly half filled when the MP is at one half of its maximum value, which is 50. Okay, so it's not absolutely 100% precise, but I'm perfectly okay with that because that's, that's how the math works. I have an uneven number of pixels there Actually, I think I have, I'm sorry, let me re retract that. I have an even number of pixels, which makes it impossible for that E to, to sit at exactly 50% when we're at 50%. So that's actually not a problem. In other words, it's, it's working as intended. So we can see as... The MP starts to fill back up. The marquee is filling the letters. And of course, let's go ahead and fill it all the way up. And again, this is really just kind of a copy paste operation. Our fourth unit, which is unit three. We'll add 13 to that, which will make it 39 if my math is correct. And it will use the O animation for frame and the O fill animation for fill. Let's save it, reload it. And there we have it. We have H-E-R-O for our hero meter. Now, the only thing I don't like here is I really kind of want a more flashy effect when the meter is filled, maybe like a little flare effect or something like that. Um, the system I've built will accommodate that but I have not yet put together the sprites to do it. So there's not a whole lot more I can do at this point. I'm not going to live code messing with sprites because that's going to be a few hours worth of work. So I'm going to set myself to doing that and close out this video. But as you can see, the MP meter is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. You've got a marquee effect. You've got the sine wave color intensification and um, cycling back again. You've got the animation all simultaneously with a clipping effect that works on an individual basis for each individual unit of the meter. So, all right, 
I'm going to post this up, guys. And um, again, these are more or less just notes for my own use. But once I release this and you are able to access the scripts and access this text-driven uh, system that I've built, then maybe this will help you get started. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video.